Here's Steve with a great chip out of the bunker to save par. Warsham also makes par. Now he's only one stroke back. On 18, it's all tied. Warsham chips from the apron. He just misses putting Sneed away. Now Sneed can win it if he sinks this one. The tension builds as the officials now measure to see who'll putt first. It's Sneed from a mere 30 inches. Warsham knows what he has to do now, and he does it. Lou Warsham takes the U.S. Open, the big one that always managed to get away from Sam Snead. In 1947, Lou Warsham beat Snead and the pressures of big-time golf. The greatest golfers in the world assembled at Augusta, Georgia for the 1947 Masters. Defending champ Herman Kaiser. Favorite Ben Hogan. Bobby Locke, the South African champion. Byron Nelson, who came out of retirement for another shot. Easy-going Texan, Jimmy Demerit. And the great Bobby Jones, the tournament's host. Jimmy Demerit stood alone in 1947 with a three-stroke lead on the 72nd hole. That one wouldn't drop for him, but he tapped it in to become only the third two-time Masters champion. Bobby Locke offered his congratulations, and Bobby Jones presented the Green Blazer and winner's check to Jimmy Demerit.